Hey guys, how are you? I'm sure you guys are doing great. So guys, today in this video, I will be talking about ARP protocol. So basically, uh, we use this protocol many times, but we don't know uh, what is exactly ARP and how it work and what is the job responsibility of this uh, ARP protocol. So if you want to know the entire thing about uh, ARP protocol, how this help uh, in our local area network to identify the destination, watch this video till end. So guys, my name is Manjit Singh. You are watching Tech Guru Manjit. So let's start. So first of all, we uh, discuss about what is uh, ARP protocol. But before, uh, you know, uh, understanding the ARP protocol, we wanted to know that where this ARP protocol is helping us uh, in the networking. Say for example, I'm uh, creating one diagram here. Uh, say for example, this is the switch. Okay. So this is the switch number one. We have one another switch. So this is switch number two and both the switches are connected. Right. Up say for example, we have uh, two computer connected to switch number one. Right, or two computer connected to switch number two. So this is the diagram. Let us understand. Uh, let us take uh, IP address of this uh, ARP uh, this uh, network. Say for example, this computer uh, MAC address is A. I know it's not the MAC address. The MAC address always uh, uh, forty eight bit. But let's take an example to understand because forty eight bit will not be possible to write here. So uh, the IP address of this computer is say for example 1.1.1.1 .1 .1 .1 .1 and the other computer having a MAC address is B and the IP address is 1.1.1.2 and the switch number 2 this computer is having a MAC address C and the IP address is 1.1.1.3 and the last one MAC address is D and the IP address is 1.1.1.4 so uh, being a network, network engineer or if I ask you to uh, you know show me the connectivity between computer A and computer D so generally what we do is we use ping command so we uh, you know write on the computer number A that is ping and will write 1.1.1.4 and will hit enter right so by using this ping command will come to know whether computer a and b are able to communicate each other or not so if we we'll, uh, you know hit enter after uh, uh, giving this command if we are getting reply reply and uh, say for example 1.1.1.4 because we are just testing the communication between uh, computer A and D. So if you are getting the reply from that particular computer, which we are, uh, you know, uh, testing. So which means we are, these two computers are able to communicate each other and the data will definitely, uh, user data will be uh, definitely, uh, you know, transferred through this, all these switches. So this is the main scenario when uh, you know uh, data transfer over the uh, network but but how this ping come to know about this computer is a question so how this computer got to know that this computer is connected to switch number two and it is available in the network so to identify because if uh, say for example we are uh, running this network for the first time Right, we have just uh, connected all the computers and uh, we are just uh, started with the ping command. How this computer A or how this switch 1 or how this switch 2 got to know that this computer which we are trying to reach is available in switch number 2. So here comes the ARP protocol because ARP protocol is the protocol which help to identify where the destination is whether it is available in the network or not so let me remove this entire network let me uh, remove this ping command only now we need to understand how this ARP protocol help us 
so basically now when we are just given this command ping right we are just given this command ping and then we have wrote 1.1.1.4 right so this computer know the IP address because this IP address is given by we as a network engineer so uh, now the uh, fundamental of transferring network uh, transferring data from one switch to another switch or maybe from one computer to another computer here uh, the local area network always use the MAC address right if you uh, go forward for uh, switching technology definitely we will come to know how this MAC address work so this computer have no idea about the computer D MAC address right so they are unknown to each other or maybe the switch number one and switch number two is also uh, the unknown for the uh, computer D's MAC address so now let us understand how this ARP protocol help us so basically ARP stands for address resolution protocol so address resolution protocol so basically ARP help us to find MAC address of any computer within the local area network or we can say it find the MAC address based on the IP address right because uh, being a uh, network engineer we have given the command ping then after that we have given the IP address respective for that particular uh, computer so ARP protocol is identifying MAC address of the destination computer based on the IP address so how this process actually work so now we'll see when we are writing ping command then after hitting the enter which packet is generated out here in the computer A so the packet looks like something this so basically this is the header information of that packet or that frame I would say because uh, local area within the local area network layer 2 uh, transmission is happening so the frame is the header information of that particular frame is source source detail and the destination detail so source MAC address is A and source IP address is 1.1.1.1 but this computer have no idea about the MAC address of this computer D. So here it will just write FF, FF, FF kind of. So you can see screen on the screen and the IP address of course it knows because we have given that IP address which is 1.1.1.4. So now this packet reach at switch number one switch number one read this header information and based on this header information it identify that the destination mac address is blank so when uh, ff 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 is written in the destination mac address which means the destination mac address is missing or not known to any device it will create a number of copies which we generally uh, call as broadcasting so this computer uh, this switch will uh, create a co multiple copies and it send all the connected port apart except the uh, data it has received from so say for example it has this switch number one has sent the same frame to switch number two and of course and um, to switch number uh, sorry computer number b as well so computer number B will read this frame and it will check MAC address first because the data link layer reads first. So data link layer it is finding that this FF FF as an entry so which means MAC address is missing. So it will not be able to identify the whether this packet is from uh, for uh, this computer or not. So what it does is 
it will now identify the IP address. So it will read the IP address is 1.1.1.4 and it will check the its own IP address which is 1.1.1.2. So if this IP address is matching, then it will accept this frame and re revert for this uh, particular uh, uh, frame. But if it is not matching, then it will just drop this packet or frame uh, that by stating that this is not for him or uh, for it. So now second frame is uh, second packet is reached to switch number two. Same the switch number one has completed its process. Switch number two will do the same thing. It will also create a number of copies and it will send to all the computer connected all the ports connected to its own ports. So the same frame will be received by computer C. So computer C will identify the with the same process first based on the Mac. Of course, Mac is missing. So it will not identify. Then it will check the IP address. Then after checking this IP address, if it has found that, okay, it's matching, then it will accept. Otherwise, it, this computer will also drop the packet. Simultaneously, computer D will also uh, receive this same packet. So it will identify based on the MAC address. Of course, MAC address is missing. And based on the IP address of now, computer D will uh, found that, okay, uh, IP address is 1.1.1.4 and its own uh, NIC card MAC address is uh, IP address is same, which is 1.1.1.4. So which means its own NIC card plus the uh, frame it has received uh, same IP address. So what it will do is it will accept the frame. It will accept the particular uh, condition uh, data. So now it will generate the reply. Now, when this computer generate the reply, now let us understand the complete header information. Here is a source, here is a destination. Now source will be computer D, right? Because it is replying to that particular frame. So now the destination, a, Mac, a source MAC address is D and the destiny, uh, IP address would be 1.1.1.4. Now the destination, of course it knows the uh, I, my complete detail about the destination because it has received the frame and the header information. If we check MAC address and the IP address is available into that header information. So what it does is it will write uh, MAC address of particular destination and the IP address as well, right? So this frame will generate from computer D and it will revert to that particular uh, data, uh, source. So this complete information, with this complete information, this frame will reach to switch number two. Now switch number two will check the MAC, MAC table. Now, because the entire information is available, Right now, switch number two will not broadcast. It will you do unicast one to one communication. This data will be straight away transferred to switch number one because it knows this MAC address is available at switch number one. Now, same uh, data frame will be received by the switch number one. Now it will identify uh, the complete information because the data header information is complete. So it will identify the uh, destination MAC address which is A. Now switch number two will not again uh, switch number one will also not generate any broadcasting. It will straight away transfer to switch uh, co particular computer. Once this complete information reached to computer A, now computer A knows that key, okay the destination MAC address and the source MAC address is completely available destination IP address is available with this computer. Now this computer is not, uh, you know, uh, unknown to uh, computer D because uh, it has received the reply from particular destination. Now the ping command will transfer the data. If we using ping command, 
ARP protocol only help ping command to identify the destination because otherwise ping command use the ICMP protocol to transfer the data. So we'll uh, talk about the ICMP protocol in some other videos. So I hope ki, uh, now in this video you will come you have just got the knowledge that how this ARP protocol help any computer or any source to identify the destination. So guys, I hope you like this video. If you like this video, hit the like. If you don't like, hit the dislike. Or if you have not yet subscribed to our channel, please hit the subscribe button down below. And uh, stay safe. We'll see you in the next video.